Age of Oblivion mod seven days to welcome everyone brand new series this is day one of this awesome mod that we're gonna go and start our journey on today I will go over uh some of the settings with you right now post these up for you now the warrior difficulty will gradually change uh, as we get more into the game, as we progress through the different types of weapons and armor and all that good stuff. So we'll get that cranking up a little bit. I think warrior difficulty to start out is pretty good. Uh, but there is a buff on the mod. If you're new to it and you want to just kind of play safe at first, uh, it's a buff that you can either read and obtain. And that'll give you uh, kind of no thirst, no hunger. I think it's unlimited stamina until you reach level 11. So we're going to skip that. Uh, one thing I do need to do is I need to fix my settings really quick. And we are right in front of a trader, which is pretty awesome. Or is he a trader? Give me one second, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Just had to kind of change the textures around because they, for some reason, every time I load into the game, they're kind of blurry. So unfortunately, I think I have to change that every single time I enter the game. I continue to save it, but they won't save. So anyways. Back to the mod itself, there is a lot to go over, so I prefer to go over this mod with you guys as we proceed through the mod. So as events happen, things happen, I'll explain what's going on, what's different from the mod. The one thing I will tell you to start off is uh, vehicles are a lot easier to obtain. They're almost instant. You can obtain a motorcycle within the first 30 minutes of the game. And then there are different types of zombies. Uh, so the, you see that challenges on the left hand side let's go ahead and start looking at that so this is the inventory you kind of start out with i'm going to throw everything on top of our actual inventory just to kind of get organized really quick you notice there is a you do have more items in your tool belt which is nice and convenient this is the beginner mode uh we're not going to use it but we're going to sell it you sell it for 160 so that's really cool you get one uh, storage chest and then this flare gun uh, fire is open is in the mod so if you're in a wood building and it's set on and it's lit on fire you could actually use this gun one time and a helicopter will come down and it will completely uh, put out the fire so it's good to have and then these are the kind of different types of drinks you have they're like really really good but you can only find these i don't i, I think you can make them later <clears throat> Yeah, I think you can make them later in the game. So let's see. It wants us to make an oblivion bench for that. We need wood and iron. So I don't know what's up with this uh, trader. It says a trader, but it's not. Sh oh, it is a trader. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll go in here because there's often iron here. And I can't remember if he's actually protected. Oh, and we could actually take these. Oh my gosh. We're not. We did not get super corn to start the game. Uh, some stuff is going to seem over like just overpowering guys overwhelming but because of how much is included in the game trust me it it won't be uh you'll feel like wow all that stuff that we looted the first day i can't believe it but honestly once it all balances out and the amount of zombies that are out it balances out this is not vanilla so don't think that we're like just gonna complete it finish the game because we got a corn um super corn on day one uh, i believe you could also get uh let me see yeah you can get these all right so let's try to get some stone first all right so here's an example of like look at all the loot we just got right this i mean this is pretty awesome if you get this in vanilla on the chest on your first day you're super happy but again it just it will all balance out so hang in there you'll notice that all this stuff that we're getting is nice, pretty, but it's not It's not going to help us completely be overpowering to start out. So it's just the way the game is, which is nice. The way the mod is, I'm sorry, which I enjoy. I enjoy the different levels of looting, the different challenges that you get from being able to loot more. It, it is a more difficult mod, especially during Fortnite's. You'll have like just completely overpowering flying zombies shooting fire at you. So you need all this stuff. And we can search this. And you have two traders. This guy is the Oblivion trader and he sells, he's a gun trader, I guess. 
Uh, we can't do business with him yet because we don't have a lot of money. And then this is regular Trader Joel. Uh, I will sell you my beginner mode buff here. Take it from us, please. And I think that's all. Yeah, for now that's all. So we, have, lied, so we have 258. So let me work on getting this bench really quick. If I had a a wrench, we could get we can get the iron really quick, but we don't. So I'll just keep looting and hope that we can get the enough for the for the oblivion bench. These keys right here. So these keys I always store in my belt. So these keys actually I'll put it over here. Uh these keys right here are gonna be what we use to get vehicles in the world. Now you can get vehicle on day one. Like there's gonna there's a road there. We can go out and find a motorcycle. We use that key and if if it's not a broken motorcycle it'll allow us to pick it up and we can use it. The challenge is gas. So even though you have five or six vehicles on day two, day three, whatever, that's great. But if you don't have gas, you're not going anywhere. And gas is a challenge because we're nowhere near making uh, oil. We can pick it up like we're doing right now, but we don't have a way to make it. So you can either buy it or you can scrap vehicles for it. It's not what I want. Um, and so that's that's kind of like it, the game will give you something, but it also take take away. So, yes, it's nice to have a motorcycle right away. But you can't really use it yet. All right, let's go over here. Find some iron. How much more do I have left for it? Uh, here, we can track it. We need 40 more. We need 60 more. We have 40. We need 60. All right, very cool. So we have enough. I'm just going to get a little extra just to have it. And then I believe with the... All right, so we'll start crafting you. But then I also want to do a lane clamp land claim block because so i want to see if i can put it put it down put down the workbench oblivion workbench as well as pick it up because once you put it down if you don't have um the land claim you can't pick it up and i don't want to just leave it here obviously we want to put that somewhere we're going to use it uh spear hunter don't know if that's the way we're going to go but we'll go ahead and read it because you do get a um a bonus buff by reading all what is it seven magazines of each one uh this one I think I'm just going to read for the XP. There's no benefit of scrapping it. Uh, so we'll just read it for the XP. We'll scrap this. We do have the lock option. And that's just from alpha. I'm sorry, from uh, 21.2 stable, which is C. We're already updated. And we'll go ahead and wear some pants. And I'm not I'm not big on, on heavy armor. And one thing you can do here, you notice is sell 62 price. If we upgrade, if we uh, repair this, which all you need is scrap iron. It went from 62 to 96. So that's one good way to start making money. So we do have our land claim block. Let's go ahead and put it down and see if this will allow us to put this the, the workbench down so we can get the quest. Did we get the quest? Okay, so now we have to locate the trader. But can I pick this up? Yes, I can. I'll pick this up and destroy the, the land claim block because uh, I think we only have a certain amount of land claims that we can put that we can use uh, throughout the game. So I think you just exit. There you go. And now we need to go find the trader. So is that our trader? Yeah. Is it? Oh, no, it's over here. Oblivion bench. All right. So I'll meet you guys right over there. All right, guys, I'll bring you back really quick. So two quick things that I can kind of go over. Uh, one is, yes, there are horses. There are different animals that you could actually uh, claim. And these animals will help you. They kind of attack whatever's in front of you if you ask them to. Or you can just kind of have them with you. And there's one right there. But in order to tame that horse, you need 12 carrots. Which we don't have 12 carrots. So farming is a thing in this game. And then this is the vehicle I was telling you about. So this is different. This is a non-vanilla vehicle. You'll notice it's locked. You put the key in your tool belt. And you right click. It's unlocked. These have really good uh, items. You can see we got a uh, tier two pistol, which isn't the, the the best, but it's pretty good. And then this one's broken, so we can't pick it up. If it was if it wasn't broken, we could pick it up. We pick it up in our inventory, and then we can put it down, and then it would be ours. And we would just need to put oil in it, and we'd have a vehicle. So the key is early is to find those blue keys, and you find them in a vanilla ve vehicles. And then once you find those keys, you use them to hopefully unlock a um, a working vehicle. So. There's our first 
enemy and it looks like the wasteland is right in front of us so it's kind of cool this map that i downloaded if you notice in the settings is the one that has the working amusement park which is kind of cool i've never played with that map before but with that map you're supposedly um able to ride the the roller coaster which is kind of cool all right let's go meet the trader first because i think it's the first thing that we need to do is there did i create the Anything wrong you like let me see here let me sell you this to start out. So I repaired it and sold it. Yeah, quest completed. Oblivion Bench. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of you. Very cool. And then, obviously, we're not going to buy anything right now. We don't have money to. But we can get a, a quest. No, wrong There's button. Way up the road. You can try of course, this So we'll do this clear zombies. I'm also in the lookout for a place to live. Uh, kind of a place to hold it. Hold it down for a couple of days until we find something permanent. So well, while we're doing these quests, I'm going to be on the lookout and see, hey, this is a perfect base. With this mod, a permanent base has to be big because the, 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 the amount of benches that you need to put down to progress through the story are they're pretty big. They're huge. The cloning one is just, it takes like, I think it's a 10 by 10 or 9 by 9. It's, it's a pretty big one. And so we need to make sure that we're going to, if we're going to find a place to kind of sit for a little bit, it's temporary. And then we find something bigger or we make something bigger. Uh, okay. So we notice I got another key. I'm not happy with our weapons though. We don't have, we don't have really good weapons to go out and fight right now. This pistol's great, but it, I don't have ammo for it. It's not great, but it's good. And I don't have ammo for it. So let me go ahead and read this forge ahead. I can repair this and wear it. And these are skill uh, quest points. I'll read it now, but I'll go over it um, with you guys in a little bit. And I'm trying to go over the, um, this stuff with you when it's when it comes up, because then I'll get lost on what I've taught you and so forth. So we're not doing too shabby. I should have gotten more of these, to be honest with you, but that's OK. All right. Uh, yeah, we have a pretty good amount of cash. I kind of want to just make a... Um, regular storage just to kind of put it here for now so we can put all this stuff in there go do the quest and not be too overwhelmed where is our quest it's that way okay so here we'll put the whoa that guy's big that guy's big and i don't have anything to fight him with let me create a primitive bow always good to have one of these and then Let's create these. How many? Oh, 25 of them. Why not? All right, let's go this way. I'm a little afraid of that big guy. I don't think I have what it takes to kill him right now. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to put the box. Where'd it go? Right here. That oh, he's coming over here. Their sense is a little bit more uh, aggressive than it is in vanilla. Because that guy was pretty far away from me and he still smelled me. So... I'm going to try to get away from him. I don't know if I'll be successful, to be honest with you. Yeah, look at he's he, yeah, he's not letting go. Kind of need to kill the chicken. Is he still coming? Okay, no, we finally lost the scent, which is good. All right. Um. Yeah, I kind of want to put my stuff away. See if we can get sneak shot on this guy. Alright, 3.5 sneak damage, and I don't have anything to hit him with. And he's pretty angry. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna bore you to death. One more. Can you handle one more? There we go. Alright, um, yeah, we definitely need a weapon. Alright, we'll, we'll kill these guys with the bow knife to start out. I'm happy with that. Let's um, get back to our chests. I'll drop everything off. Ooh, vehicle. Vehicle is not as important because, again, you get... You get you can get a vehicle. We might get one right before this, this episode is over. However, you need the vehicle books, I believe, to get... Oh my gosh, this guy's still here. Can you not? Wow. He's stubborn. Uh, oh my god, that motel sign looks like the in and out sign. I think I can find the joke in that. Uh, okay, so I don't have a lot of arrows. See that nice spider right there? 
that is a thing these guys right here in darkness falls are super scary but in this mod they're not as scary so don't feel bad if you see one we don't have the best start to be honest with you guys i'm not happy that i don't have a good weapon to start this this series and that guy's still following me All right, so one thing I haven't done is put use our points. I know we got points for doing the job. And then these right here, uh, seeds. I need to collect 10 seeds of something, anything. It could be anything, and that's for for, uh, for progress of the of the, the bench quest. So we'll read these for now. Um, see what kind of points we have. So these are traditional points. Same look as Alpha 21. You still have your crafting skills. You have your perk books. Uh, this is what's different. This is the Age of Oblivion uh, crafting skill map. Uh, you get a point for every one. But then these you can actually purchase. And we do have... Right now we have three to purchase. But I'm not even there yet. I want to just put points into our person. So that we can be, uh, we can be stronger, I guess. Uh, and since we're going to do... What am I going to do? So I'm doing deep cuts, I guess, right? Do deep cuts. I kind of want to do... Is it specialized catching your enemies unaware while you sneak? They're arresting one. Yeah, I want to do this. We have two more. Um, We're going to need minor 69er, so might as well get that. And I'm going to save that point. I don't know where I want it, and I don't want to just put it anywhere. So we'll save that point for now, and I think the entrance to this is over here. I have no arrows. Um, we're so unprepared. Uh, there's another vehicle we can possibly get. We have one key. So I can risk it. Now we got pretty good stuff. And it's broken. Can't pick it up. I need arrows before I start the... Before I start the quest. Oh, look at this puppy right here. Uh, there's, there's dog food. There's canned uh, dog food. You guys know are very aware of those. Uh, they're in vanilla. And you can actually get this little fluffy cute guy with you. Uh, if you have those. But we don't have them. So, And they roam around. So they'll they'll be around. Hopefully we'll get those. The food. And then we'll have a little pet. Alright guys. I'm really regretting messing up those first. Crossbow. Stone crossbolts that I made. Because I can't find that many more. We only have seven, so... We'll have to rock with seven. See how we do. I, I know there's a freaking vulture, like, across the way. And he doesn't spawn until you come up. Yep, there he is. And we missed. Wait, why'd you fly away? Come on. Oh no, I need you. Alright, we're gonna go get him. Because we need the feathers. Alright, cool. We can make five more. Let's go. That's progress. And he didn't touch us, which is good. Because those guys usually give you... Um, infection. See what we got here. Ooh, some honey and some vitamins. That's good. Yeah, I think you can pick these up. Those are good for our base. And you know what? This might be this might be a good place to start. So I'm kind of excited about this. I'm actually gonna make a land claim block now. Because as soon as we clear it, this is where we're gonna stay. This will be our temporary spot. So it's good. You want to pick a spot that you actually clear out that way. Ooh, let's go. Yeah, guys, the loot here is good. I'm not going to lie. The loot is good. But again, it makes up for 
the amount of trouble that you can get into. Little Stevo's dead o. I like I don't like these places where you fall in, especially without a good weapon, but uh, we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. Um I don't have any bullets for you yet. Let's see if we can sneak damage somebody. Nope. They're right awake. And the problem is he's gonna wake up the others, so. Sweet, two gone for the rest of y'all. All right, now we head downstairs. What's down here? Who's waiting for us? Come on, I know you're all in here. There you go. Our buddy Cole. Oh, they call him burnt. I like this. I like they call him burnt in this in this uh, mod. <laughs> kind of cool. I like Cole because he's burnt down like Cole. I guess I don't know. All right, I see our first cooking pot, which is huge. Handyland and some cement. All right, so we got salt, uh, that's for cooking ingredients, and then we got this basic cryogenic material, which we'll need for cloning purposes later in the series. Oh, I remember this. They're all lined up right here, right? Ah, why'd you wake up? All right, cool. We finished that. Let me go ahead and put the land claim block in our belt. And I'll just wait. Where is this POI? Yeah, this is kind of the middle, right? Oh, this is, is going to annoy me. All right, just throw you over there. And basically what that'll do is it won't let any zombies respawn in this particular POI. So, and we can call it home. And then we can obviously pick up stuff and um, pick up, remove, and all that. Uh, where do we get this? This is, I learned how to, the trick, how to sometimes get honey off of trees. Ooh, that's a really good book early. And then we finally have ammo for our pistol, which I will put in our secured spot right here. And I think I can go back and then we can loot this at night. So let's go back to the trader. Uh, what can we put here? Sure. Are we going to live upstairs? I think we have to live upstairs, right? I think it'd be smart to live up here. And so for now, I will put a, um, here we can put this guy here just for now oh and then the cool thing is you can actually can change the shapes some of these take two blocks some only take one so we'll do this one we'll start with this one this one's kind of cool kind of high tech i, I need i want to put it somewhere where it's easy for us to climb up and get though i guess for now and then these you can't pick up once you put them down like they're down okay let me get rid of this Still can't do it. I want to put it on top of this little table here. But something's stopping it. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's this, though. No, it's not. What is it? Oh, it's it's because this is a half block. Okay. You know what? That's fine. You win. We'll just put you here. I will throw everything in here. Let me just see what I can sell. I can sell you. I'm going to sell you. I don't think I can get much for you, but I'll sell you. I'll read you. I'll read you. Anything else that we can sell? If I'm missing something, I apologize, guys. There's a lot, a lot to look at. Uh, but right now it's not. Priority is not making money. Priority is just kind of getting settled in and um, and figuring out. You know what? I'm going to save you because there is a mod that will give you uh, a discount when you have either a Magnum or a pipe pistol. So I'll save you instead of selling it. All right. So we can go out this way, right? Maybe not. All right, cool. I like this. Let's go see what the trader has for us. All right, guys, I finished looting the compound because I 
I didn't do that the first time we got here. I just kind of wanted to get out there, finish a job, and find a place to live. Now that we do have it, I kind of took my time, and this is what I came up with. Um, I think we had this and something else. I forgot what it was. Oh, and this. So those are the two things we got. I got a forge ahead from Cement Mixer, the wood splitter mod uh, from one of the trash cans, I think. And then I'm going to sell this. I'm wearing one of these already. Actually, this one's better. Uh, these red boots, why are they red? I guess we'll just take the take the red paint because I like it. And what, do you scrap for leather? You do. We'll keep that for the leather. And so I'll sell these three items and turn in the job. Well oh, you know what? I'm going to go cobblestone rocks. Um, only because mechanical parts, we found a wrench. I think you guys saw me find that, find that. We found a wrench, so mechanical parts we can get with the wrench. The ammo is also good, but I, I want the cobblestone because we're going to probably uh, be making our horde base soon. And that'll be a good good way to start. Uh, let me see your inventory. I'm going to sell you this, 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 and this. And we have 1,016 coin. What can I purchase that's going to like make a difference on the first night? Forge ahead books. Yes, sir. I don't know how many I have, how many I need. Should have checked before I bought them, but it's okay. All right, now we only have four, 400, so we don't have, we can't buy any, purchase anything else. Very cool. Which we'll grab another job. Thing? I don't think I'll do it tonight because it's almost nighttime. Uh, we'll do this Can one. Do the power residence. Um, what I'll end up doing is we'll do that at night. I'm sorry, not at night, in the morning. Um, I'm pretty sure they're open 24-7, so don't have to worry about that. So everything is protected except for the stuff you can actually loot, like this right here. That's lootable, obviously that's not protected, but a lot of this other stuff is. Alright, uh, let's go back to... We have inventories here that we need to pick up. We'll take everything. Uh, let's go ahead and read these. We'll grab it all. Encumbrance here is not as bad as it is in other mods. Even though we're three items over, we're not slow at all, which is a good thing. I don't want to kill too much light. I am going to grab some wood. All right, we got two points to spend. Let's go. Oh, we had one. I saved it, so that'll be okay. All right, and then the, the next quest is right across the way, which is, which is good. What I'll do is I'm going to put a uh, ladder up here. Put in the ladder. Oh, I don't like that it goes over, but I guess it's because we are we are over a um it's built over a half block. So the half blocks are basically they fill up they fill half of a block and the rest of it 50% is the actual item and then the rest of it is is just kinda like this. Yeah, I'll show you what a half block is. Sorry guys. I I'm having a tough time explaining it, but I'm a visual guy, so here I'll show you this. So this is a half block right here, right? So you see how it that's you have the full half right next to it and then you have the half block that invisible area you still can't build on that because the game is set up to build in blocks so that's why we it, this goes over because this is a half block right here so there you go the basics those are the basics i know um i'm kind of a sucker for that stuff so if you know this game inside out and you know all the basics about it I'm not telling you I'm going to bore you, but you're going to find a lot of information that I provide for you. You're going to find that it's stuff that you already know. If you're barely getting into the game, it's probably a good option for you to to, um, to learn from it. Because I do cover that stuff. Not all the, not all of it, but some of it. Other than that, guys, this is... Uh, it's about to be 2 o'clock. I'm sorry, 2 o'clock. 12, uh, 12 o'clock. Well, it's going to be 10. And at 10 is when everybody starts... Um, Everybody's jogging except for Furls. Furls run. Uh, but everybody's going to start jogging at us. And we don't have a good weapon to be out and about. So that's why I'm kind of... just. We're going to just... Did, we did one quest. That was the goal. And then now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to clean up the, the, top, the top of the house. Actually, I should be... Where is Where are the steps? Yeah, I should be really, really... Uh, what should I do? I'm here. Let's do them here. So I should be breaking these so that they can't. If there is like a zombie horde, they can't come up to us. So I'll break these and then I'll clean up the top, kind of get organized. I'll put on some some 
um, some storage chests. I will also see about building a forge uh, and get our thirst taken care of. And that'll be it. So every episode, guys, is going to be basically the 24 hours of the day. Uh, and that'll be kind of the standard. That'll be how we run this series. I hope you guys stick around and watch it. Uh, I'll have fun playing for sure. But I'll try to do my best to again, teach you guys. Uh, if you've never played this mod, check it out. Just check it out for the first four days. It's it's a really, really fun mod. Stuff gets very interesting. I know we didn't get like a lot of great stuff early. Uh, but uh, the, the key to the first day is just to survive. And it's exactly what we did. We didn't die. So I'm really happy about that. Um, other than that, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Please take care of yourselves. Bye-bye for now.